Okay, so good morning, everyone. So today we'll start our presentation, IP presentation, group one. The topic is dictionary and list function. The members are Angad, Achal, Aditi, Akshat, Ayushi, and Gautam. I think Achal is not present. She has taken leave, so no issue in that one. So I would request the group members to begin their presentation. Angad, who is going to be the first member? Sir, uh, dictionary or string function, sir. हाँ जस्ट ओके डिक्शनरी एंड स्ट्रिंग फंक्शन सॉरी आई मेड अ मिस्टेक करेक्ट करेक्ट डिक्शनरी एंड स्ट्रिंग फंक्शन ऑल राइट सो यू कैन स्टार्ट द शेयरिंग अंगत यस Sir, um, who is going to be the first member? Sir, the first, uh, the first one would be. Aditi, uh, Aditi Singh Thakur would be presenting the first okay. slide. Okay, Aditi, you can switch. By introducing us, what are strings? Yeah, yeah. Aditi, please switch on your camera so that you are also visible. So should I start? Yeah, please, please. Camera to be on, beta, Aditi. Yeah, it's on, yeah. sir. Yeah. So good morning, all our present here. I'm Aditi Singh Thakur, and I'm going to explain what are string. So in a computer programming, a string is a traditionally a sequence. So there are sequence of a character, either as a literal context or as some kind of variable. Later, may also it's a element to be muted. So it allow its element to be muted, and its length can be changed, and or it may be fixed after the creation. When we create a string, we can uh, change its work after we create it. A string is generally considered as a data type and is often implemented as a an array, data structure of bytes or words. The stored sequence of uh, elements. uh typically a character using some character encoding it may also denote more general arrays or other sequences or a kind of list a list data types and uh, data types and structure depending on the programming the language and the phrases data type you use a variable declare to be a string may it the calls a strong in a memory to be statistical allocated For a certain, uh, for a maximum length, or uh, or employ dynamic allocation to allow it to hold a variable number of elements. When string is appear, let uh, literally in all sources, it is also a string literal, literal or any anonymous string. In a formal language, which are used in the mathematical logic and theoretical computer science, a string is finite sequence. Of symbols that chosen from a set of an alphabet. So that's all. Thank you, Aditi. Who's going to be the next speaker? Please switch on your mic. Others, please keep your mic off. Angad, who's going to be the second speaker? Yeah, Angad, second speaker. Yes, sir. Yeah, sir. Uh, wait, sir, sir. I need to configure something. Yes, sir. I'd like to present the next slide. uh explaining what are inbuilt string functions 
uh, the makers of the uh, the makers of python was someone who uh, as python is open source everyone can access it, can access his open source uh, code code source source code so either the original maker of python or someone else can build some functions which can be used by users to uh, simplify their code and maximize their their efficiency of the code so some of the inbuilt string functions in python are len this function uh, would provide you with the length of the string with the, which is uh, which is provide uh, which is described in the parenthesis given after the len and so some of the common mistake every every uh, every student makes is they, they do not think that space are taken into consideration when they are finding the length of the string but it's not so uh, the spaces are also considered as characters while the while while python counts the length of the string the next is min, min which uh, the function min returns the smallest value according uh, smallest value in the string based on ascii values uh, and and the same is with max instead it returns the largest value in the string based on ascii values and uh, the next is capitalize the capitalize would, uh, what capitalize would do is a pro, it would turn the first character of the string into capital letters it would turn into upper case uh if the if the first character of the string is not an alphabet it would uh, not have any change the split function uh, would split up the string uh, on the basis of the provided separator and uh, return a list of substrings and uh, the replace function would replace all the occurrences of the old string with the new string uh, provided that if we pro uh, you would be seeing examples and uh, illustrations in the next slide and uh, it would be presented by akshat gishawan okay thank you angad good morning sir good morning i akshat gishawani uh, i am here to explain the inbuilt functions example of inbuilt functions of strings Um, examples are name is equal to input. Enter your name. This is going to ask the user uh, to enter his name. Print welcome uh, comma name. Uh, this will write. Uh, this will uh, print welcome and uh, the return name. Uh, print length uh, next. Uh, print length of the uh, print. Length of your name, len comma uh, len name. Uh, this len command will uh, count the numbers, uh, numbers of characters in that name. <coughs> Print maximum value of characters in uh, your name. This is uh, this will uh, print maximum. Uh, maximum that uh, character name and uh, print the minimum value of character in your name uh, minimum uh, this will print the minimum uh, minimum value of the name <coughs> print dot uh, capital i name dot capitalize this is going to capitalize every letters uh, next uh, print uh, name dot split this is going to split each and every letter of the name mm. next print name dot replace i comma i k k l this is going to replace i with i k l for example some outputs of the uh, same string like enter your name is <coughs> rishi 
welcome rishi uh, the next input was welcome rishi so here the print is welcome rishi length of your name uh, next command was uh, to uh, know the length of the name so here it is uh, five maximum uh, values of character in in that name <coughs> is r and minimum is a now print dot capitalize was there in next uh, so it the name is capitalized here and the separator is separating all the name matlab letters and last was to replace i with i k a so it is done here thank you sir okay thank you akshat who's going to be the next one is it ayushi or gautam for just a minute yeah please take your time yes i'm sharing this good morning sir good morning beta i am here to explain about dictionary a dictionary a dictionary in python is an an unordered collection of items where each item is a key value pair dictionary is used to store uh, store data data value like map map uh, map is, uh, is a built in function which unlike other data type that hold only single value as an element now some important features each key map to a value this association is called key value pair uh, for the better understanding uh, uh, i would like to take an example for key value pair uh, the example is telephone directory uh, a subscriber's number is store uh, get stored according to their name and address so name is uh, then name name become the uh, name become the key as reference and the telephone number becomes the value to be uh, to be searched searched for uh, key value is provided in the dictionary to make it more optimized uh, second point each key is separated from its value by a colon the items are separated by commas and the entire dictionary is enclosed in curly brackets third point keys are unique within a dictionary while values may not be while working with python dictionary we can have problem in which we need to extract key key with values that are unique means there should be at least one item not present in other list fourth point dictionary is mutable we can add new items or change the value of existing item i would like to add one more point the uh, that the value of the, the value of dictionary uh, the the value of dictionary can be of any type but the key key uh, key must be mutable mutable data type such as string uh, string number or tuple thank you uh, thank you ayushi now i think it's gautam's turn no sir uh, actually it was archer's turn okay uh, she was going to explain huh. what are dictionary functions but no problem let absent, it be so. ha huh, let it be given to gautam then he can continue his own topic Yes, sir. so his topic is an example for dictionary ah, functions. Ah, all right, all right. Gautam, please go ahead. Fine morning to all of you. 
today i am here to explain about the functions of dictionary with examples so we have dictionary as d which has certain values and keys keys and values so before going with this functions i would like to give some conditions it's like how dictionary has some conditions you need to have key and value which is separated by colon and this key value pair we call it as a item and item must be separated by the commas so here in dictionary d there are three items and here the keys are non string 1 2 3 and values are string 1 2 3 so before explaining the functions of dictionary i would like to explain the functions with some daily examples so the daily examples are like phone uh, phone directory this will help us to get the functions clearly so first is the length of the dictionary so length of the dictionary simply counts the items for example in d dictionary there are three items of course these are if these are very small in d but if we compare in phone directory there are huge for example let's say there are 500 600 of contacts of people so sim that's why this sim this function is so important it's so easy we don't have to do anything we don't have to write program for it so we get fresh prepared type of so length of the dictionary will tell how many items are there in your dictionary next we go with next we go with the fetching how do we fetch how i will fetch some name and its number from phone directory so this function is very easy for for example if in the given example i would like to fetch 2 so it will simply show the output will simply show string 2 or if i would like to fetch 1 so the output so first i will i would need to write d dot get and in brackets i will i will have to write the key which is 1 so the output will be 1 string 1 so the condition is yeah you would have to write this same syntax or it will show syntax error the dot should be there and the key which you want to search the next comes the items uh yeah the same which we the items yeah the key value pair is item so if i would like to know all the items in my dictionary i will do d dot items so again dot must come in every function this dot must come in dictionary so d dot items so i will get all the key, key pair value so in here d dictionary i'll get one as key and string one as value two as key and string two as value so next is print d dot keys so this is again the dictionary function which will help us to fetch only the keys and the next one d dot values print d dot values this will help us to fetch the values in the dictionary which we have and the next one print d dot del this will help this function will help us to delete the items in our dictionary and it will won't return it so there will be no output and the next comes print d dot pop so this function is different from that del one 
it will return uh, so if we write print d dot pop 3 as the key it will show 3 string 3 which is the value and the next one print d dot clear this will en entirely wipe the items which are present in our dictionary so if i'll write this com uh, this function so it will entirely wipe it will entirely wipe the dictionary so there will be no output at the end so i'm done thank you sir okay thank you very much gautam so i think this is the end of the slide except for uh, archal everyone has presented it okay you can stop the yes, screen sir. sharing angad ah before stopping the screen sharing do you have the flexi with you right now a soft copy of your project so let me check ha ah, because i need so that it can be shown on the screen ki what you have prepared just check it once or i think uh, might be there with me let me see it okay i don't have angad's number with uh, in fact his angad what is your phone number could you please tell me your phone number the whatsapp number i it might be there with me so last was 3737 Uh, last नहीं I want complete beta because नाम से save नहीं है हाँ three seven three seven sir I got हाँ हाँ yeah yeah sir I, I got it I can share अच्छा you can share हाँ please just a moment yes sir हाँ uh, please share it beta show on the screen okay I think this was the design that you made it isn't it Angad If yes I'm, sir hana what about what about the printers one printers one you don't have right now with you no i have that one i don't have it uh, right you don't now. have it okay okay just a moment i think i'll i have it with me just a moment i'll see it uh, okay okay so i haven't shared the printers one yet so okay okay you did not share printers one with me no sir okay okay chalo let it be no issue in that one so all right you can stop the screen sharing right now <clears throat> so this is the presentation done by group 1 angad aditi akshat ayushi and gaurav there attendance attendance link is already shared you are late my dear okay no problem no issue in that one let me first stop the recording